I'm in front. All me, baby. Oh! Quad. Quad. <laughs> I'm not a. F I mean, I don't know, bro. They're. Oh, there it is. There it is. Dude, that was in a sick-ass spot, too. A shit ton of phase members. It was me. Replays. Oh, my God. I'm slow. Having us, having us like, all be in a Discord and just... Oh my god! Okay, I almost had the 70. These thick and juicy old beef hot dogs from 7-Eleven are so fucking good, oh my god. What did this guy just say? What? There's- Bro, I saw thick, juicy hot dog in the corner of my eye and messed me up. Game winner! Quick little tip if any of you guys are having trouble with your shot um i realized that i had aim assist rotation disabled make sure you have rotation and slowdown enabled it will feel weird if you have one or the other disabled and your shot might not be as crisp what that's not fair What? <laughs> Yo, he said, boy, Matt. <laughs> Yo, he robbed the shit out of me on that. <laughs> Ooh. Single, triple. That was nasty. I want one of those whip notes go forth so bad. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold up. That was actually sick. I stacked it. Oh, I'm too slow. The only custom guns I can see added to this are uh, MW2 campaign remastered guns. <gasps> no! Includes the campaign as well. Whoa. That was a nasty triple. All right, everybody, everybody in this game, I, I hope they respond. What's the most underappreciated COD of all time? Modern Warfare 2022. I was waiting for somebody to say World at War. And that actually brings us into the question of today's upload. But before we get into that, in my last upload, I asked, what did you play more, Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare, and why? And it goes to my man, boom. Quick shout out to Mr. Caramel Bass, who said MWR was the one I played the most. I was so done with the Jetpack era at that time, and I just wanted to be grounded again. Love this game. And I completely agree with Bass. I think everyone was pretty much done with the Jetpack era. MWR was the perfect alternative to Infinite Warfare, because not only are we grounded again, we get to play Boots on the Ground COD, but it is a remaster of one of the most iconic if not the most iconic call of duty of all time cod 4 such a fun game shout out to all the homies who watched me back on mwr as well personally it was a pretty important game for me because that's when my youtube started to take a little bit of new heights i joined red reserve on that year as well but like i said the question that i want to get to today i asked it earlier in the video i asked it for my chat in the individual game i was playing but this time i want to ask you guys what do you think is the most underappreciated call of duty of all time what cod does not get enough love there's a lot of them out there but which cod do you think needs more love comment down below you might have a chance to be featured in the next upload there's the 40 baby chat i'm about to be the number one glitcher on twitch right now watch this shit you don't even know what you're about to see chat you don't even know oh all right can you not jump on it wow shit whack bro i thought i was about to do some mlg glitches but they're patched on mwr that's fucked up
Ooh, I'm, I might be hitting something. Let's go, brother. That was a sick collat. Oh! Yo, that actually hit. Yo, who is going up top? It's fucking up the mojo. No! Um, hey, we joined late. Top fragging, almost at 100. I was going for the fifth. I was going for the sixth, dude. James is such a smart ass. He said night vision. <laughs> Triple. Oh my god. All right, get him, Ruby. Get him, Ruby. This. Will they flip again? No, they won't. Oh, that's a triple. Yo, I also know a lot of you guys have been asking me for my settings and what settings I use on MWR. These are my controller settings, um, pretty much the same as every other game, except the sensitivity is 1715. I thought that was uh, the nicest for me. And default everything, the whole layout is default. You got to love that. Like I said earlier in the video, make sure you have both aim assist rotation and aim assist slowdown on. It may seem a little bit too strong with the rotation. From long range, this helps out so much. So I definitely recommend this. Also, shout out my vibration gang. We're, we're a dying breed, but hey, we're still here. But these are pretty much my controller settings if you guys want to copy this. Um, when it comes to my graphic settings, I play on windowed full screen. It says I'm at 60 hertz, but I am at 240 hertz. I don't know why. And then advanced video, I pretty much kept all this the same. Uh, this is pretty much all simple and all easy, except the anti-aliasing. Have that on T2X. So if you guys want to copy those settings, go right ahead. These help me out a lot, and hopefully they can help you out as well. How in the fuck are you about to say? The way that we do it, it's not the way. No, don't you swear to you.